Now, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You have already learned how to connect our test set to this circuit breaker to be tested. Uh, we have uh, the connection done, and uh, we are about to start uh, with uh, the testing. The first operation I do is to power on. As I do, you see this is the, there is this diagnostic uh, that is run. All LEDs uh, should be on because this is the check that we do. Uh, and then, uh, once uh, the check is over, you have here these lights uh, telling you the status of the circuit breaker. Uh, it is not uh, easy to be seen, but uh, these uh, one and then the other two LEDs are on, uh, telling me that the circuit breaker is closed. Why is it closed? It should be opened. We have opened it. It is closed, it is seen closed, because I still have the grounding on both sides. So, now you are ready to operate, and before starting, you have to remove the grounding on one of the two sides of the circuit breaker. Uh, about this operation that puts some degree of uh, unsafety uh, on uh, your testing, uh, we will discuss later on when we will discuss the both sides granted op option. Anyway, what I am doing now is uh, I am removing the grounding on one side. Okay? As I do, you see, I have uh, the red light turning off and the green light on. This means that uh, the circuit breaker is open. Okay? Now, the operation is uh, straightforward. I am already uh, ready. I don't want to tell you about all settings on the, the test that I have to conduct. But, uh, for instance, what you can do here now is to load a setup or delete a setup uh, and so on. In case you have forgotten what you did, remember, restore default. Okay? So, you are sure that the uh, parameters settings are the default values. Okay? Once uh, you do it, uh, you can uh, uh, go to the menu, if you want, uh, and then uh, start uh, setting up uh, trigger option, test option, recording options, and so on. I want to operate immediately without uh, losing too much time. And uh, what I want, do I want to do? The circuit breaker is open. Okay? So, the first operation will be close it. Uh, and I can record uh, the uh, timing during the closer. And next, uh, I will go to open, close, open. That is the most severe sequence uh, that uh, the circuit breaker must withstand. Okay? Setting the test is uh, immediately performed by pushing here this button. Now it is uh, setting, uh, set on open, but it is already open. So I go to close. Once I have done it, I just press start. The test is in progress. This buzzer is new. That you are about. You are about to start the test. You are psychologically ready to the burst, to the big noise that the circuit breaker is doing during the operation. The noise that you have heard is, I believe, one-tenth as compared to a very high voltage circuit breaker. Okay, so, this is the screen. On the screen, what you see, again, this is the default situation, is up here the current into the coil. You see? This is a typical shape. This is the moment where the, actually the trigger has been released. Next, uh, you have here the recording of the two, uh, the three phases that have opened after, uh, have closed after the close command. Okay? Uh, now, uh, you can uh, just uh, go to the menu and save result. 
As you enter here, uh, you have uh, the possibility to give a name to your test. So it is uh, test uh, one or, or, or test open uh, closes. Sorry. Okay. And I say, for instance, uh, one. Okay. As I press, uh, the result is uh, saved into the memory of the test set. So, later on, uh, we will download it uh, to the computer. Now, before starting the open, close, open uh, sequence, uh, as I told before, excuse me, I have to go to the test diagram if I want to change the setting. Uh, before doing it, I want to do another thing. I want to enable the recording of the uh, analog channel. Uh, excuse me, the auxiliary contact. Uh, breaker auxiliary channel settings. Okay? So, you see, the main contacts are here. A, a, B, C, 1. And about auxiliary inputs, I have to check the number 1. I can label it as uh, closed. Sorry, I had to delete it. Uh, that's it, closed. And for the 2, I label it uh, open. Okay, that's it. It is uh, dry, eh? no voltage on it, uh, on them. Okay. Now I come back to the test diagram. And uh, the difference is that I will not only see the uh, main context, but I will also see the auxiliary context. We go. Start. And here we are. What do we have here? is uh, the open coil current, the closed coil current, uh, but uh, I don't see the next open coil current. Why? Because uh, I forgot uh, uh, changing the uh, test recording duration. Once I have set uh, the um, breaker auxiliary contact, uh, there is uh, another thing that I have to do, that is uh, set the recording option. Why? Because I must be sure that the recording duration covers uh, the complete sequence of open, close, open. So I go here and I see open coil duration, close coil duration. Open to close the delay is 300 milliseconds, which corresponds uh, to the standard uh, um, reclose uh, delay, eh? and this is good. Close to open delay, 300 milliseconds, uh, it is good because uh, the, um, we can say this is the, the instance of uh, cl close on to fault. Eh? Pre trigger, okay, 50 milliseconds, 2 kilohertz, recording duration. This value is too short. Uh, why? Because I have 50 milliseconds of pre-fault, pre then 300, then 300 is 600, 650. I program here 800 milliseconds, that is 0 0.8 seconds, so that the complete sequence is uh, displayed on the screen. Okay. 